What's happening, guys? Uh, this is your boy, Dr. Martin. Once again, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I hope you guys have been really enjoying the content that we've been bringing out, and I hope you guys have been able to actually learn a thing or two from the videos that we actually published. We try so much to give out value uh, from what we actually put out to the internet, and I hope you guys are able to learn a thing or two. I do hope that this finds you well and please do subscribe to our channel. Do leave um, a comment down below and do like our video, share it as much as possible. Once again, do also go check out my Instagram at Dr. Martin um, and you will see my work there that I put out, really try to actually bring out as much value as we possibly can. Today, on today's video, um, as promised, I did say that a video will be published this week. And um, I am coming back to you with the breakdown for gold. And this is what I'm breaking down today for you guys. Obviously, gold is an instrument that most people like to trade. And I really like the fact that people really look at um, gold as an instrument that would actually make them money and they would actually grow from. So let's look at gold and what we can possibly expect for the week coming ahead. So obviously, we go to the higher time frame structure for us to be able to actually see what it is that we have. And from here, then we will be actually able to basically tell where the next move can possibly be. So if you look at this um, higher time frame structure, you will be able to see that the specific levels that actually held on gold, um, even from the top of the market over there, I think I did even send this to my community to say that I do expect to roll over on gold to at least 1600. So 1600 is a level that I was actually anticipating last year on gold. And this was obviously shared with our private co community group as well. If you look at this formation over there at the top, you will be able to actually notice that we did have um, a slight head and shoulder pattern that actually formed over there. If you do go to your charts right now, even as you're watching this, you will be able to see that gold did actually print out a slight head and shoulder pattern, which was completely entirely respected over this um, region and area over there, $20, $2,000 per ounce. Um, this is where we hit all-time highs on gold and we're actually now crumbling and actually going down to our lower regions before we could possibly pick up even before the end of the year. But what we can actually um, expect right now on these current markets that we have, I will really not take long because I do understand that, um, you know, for me to give out as much value, I don't really have to take the whole day explaining um, concepts that I could easily explain even from this short video that I'm actually recording right now. So from the top of the markets, we did see that the market mm -hmm. actually came and printed an all-time high around there. Maybe let's put a pin price over there to basically see what price we did have. So you can see that we have uh, $2,075 per ounce printed as a new high. So that's a level and an area in which we want to actually focus on in the future when the market actually comes around that region. So from there, we did have a rollover on the markets to actually print out a low as well. So the low over here was a low that was slightly higher than the previous lows, obviously, because the market was actually going all the way up. But from here, we do see that the market went back to the upside. So for most people, we're looking at buys over here, but obviously the market came here and established the resistance level. And we did have a shift bar over there indicating to us that the bears are actually still in the markets. Market came back to pull back again, established the high around that level. And you can see that this high was now obviously lower than that high. And obviously the market were, was actually stuck in a range over here broke past this level. This has been a tendency of gold for the past couple of weeks that gold will come in range in between this area and then break out, came back to range as well over there, fake to the highs and obviously broke to the downside. So gold um, currently, if we look at the general structure and the whole picture that we have on this particular market, we will actually notice something really interesting that we will be able to actually learn from probably and to even see um, possibilities of the next move. Remember that with price action, you always want to look at the previous market, look at the current market to actually predict where the future market can possibly be. And at this rate that we're in right now, we can see that the markets are actually um, 
at this point where we are seeing a rollover from the general structure. And if you look at this current market that we have, you do see that the market seems to be creating a series of lows and the market keeps on breaking towards the lows. If you look at um, this area and region over there, you will see that we actually broke past that region, printed a new low. And if you look at this low as well, you can see that we actually broke past that low and created an even new low. So right now we do have this low over here and the market pulled back to the highs and is now coming back to probably test this low or even break past this current low that we have right now. So I did actually mark out this area and level to say that this is an area in which I'm looking at. I did draw this level from my four hour time frame. Now from the high time frame structure, we are able to actually see that the markets are actually trending down and since we can see that the market is trending down this then makes the job easier for us to know that even on the smaller time frame structure we are obviously looking for shorts instead of actually looking for buys so i do have um, this counter trend move broken as you can see we did have a low over there which was obviously broken over there some people prefer using trend lines which i obviously uh, don't really use that much but if you even do use the trend line you will see that the trend line was even broken over there to actually indicate to us that the market is actually now breaking that upward structure that it had formed over this current market over there so we did break out of that bullish move that the market actually formed right now we are currently trending down if you look at this the market came to establish a high around 187500 and that's an area that i was looking at so we do have psychological levels at 1875 so that was an area and a level that I was actually observing personally to see how then the market behaves around there. And if we do draw a zone in an area over there, we will actually notice how the markets failed to break past that level, creating a double top formation. So this was actually a double top formation that we had on this current market. Double top formation for me is not an M pattern like most people would say. For me, a double top personally is an area in which the market came to tap twice. And obviously right here, we did have 187,500 being printed by price as its new high. And obviously the market came back to tap that 187,500 level and failed to break above that level, meaning that the level was holding so much. Look at how the market was waking around that region and level, confirming to us once again that the market can actually now rally to the downside from how we actually printed over there. We did have a shift bar from that level market came back to tap again those highs and from there we did have a clean sailing market to the downside from there you can see how then the market was now creating highs that were slightly lower from the previous highs and obviously this low was obviously on the same axis and level as the previous lows we did have but right now we had an all-time low that was around 182500 182600 around about 1828 these are levels and regions that i'm actually looking at for a possible pullback before we can actually rally to the downside so for this coming week i do see gold breaking even lower at least to 18 uh to 1700 to the T maybe if we can actually come and hit that 1700 level to the absolute T uh, so that's around about here so I do think that gold can actually um, drop all the way down to 1700 as, as um, I can see now I do think that we can actually come and drop down to 1700 as a targeted area for this coming week uh, the week of the 20 the week of the 8th sorry the 8th of feb i think that this can actually come drop down mm -hmm. to 1700 and this is what i personally think however i do understand that we do have a low over here which can be our direction decider for this current market the reason why I'm saying this is because um, gold right now printed this low, which obviously is our current low that we have in this current market. And I do think that if we do break out of this low, then we can actually go down to 1700. However, if the market does come to this level and region and shows us signs of rejection to the upside, I will actually look into, um, you know, observing what really happens around this level and region. So before we actually um, conclude that the market can go to 1700 we need to actually find that break of structure around that level and region of 
above um, the, that's around 1770. That's a level I'm actually looking at to basically be able to see whether we do break below or not. But as we are actually looking right now, I do think that we can potentially look out for pullbacks into the regions of 1825, 1826. If you are a trend line trader, I'm pretty sure that you have actually marked up this trend line using your naked eyes as well to say that we might possibly come back to around that level and region before we can start actually trading this market to a specific direction. But I do favor shorts on this market and I do agree with the concept of pushes and pauses, the concepts of impulse and correction, the concept of breathing in and out. The market is like a living organism. We cannot always be buying. Sometimes the markets will actually pull back. And this right now for me is a current pullback that the market is printing. If you really look at the previous low prices that the market has actually printed, you will be able to actually find possible zones and areas in which we can actually take our trades from. So if we look at what we have over here, sorry about that, if you look at what we have over here, we do have a previous low point that was actually printed over there. The markets did show us some strong rejections on these areas. And we do have what we call the break of structure over here. So for me, the break of structure was exactly there. So I do think that the markets can actually come back and probably retest that previous um, support level that got broken over there as its new resistance before we can start looking at selling. So I will be observing this area and region as my new hotspot for the week to see and observe what really happens. If we do close above this level, I will not be biased with the direction. I can actually trade this move back into the highs of 187500. But right now, I do want to see this market rejecting around this level. And for me to actually be able to see and decide whether or not we are still continuing with the selling momentum. Once again, I did host an Instagram Live um, the last time. I think we did have about 900 people viewing the live, which was quite a good number. And I did state even on the live that you don't want to actually be an impulsive trader. You don't want to actually decide for the markets. The markets will tell us exactly what is happening over here. We cannot decide whether the market will break out or not. We can only wait and be patient enough to observe what really happens around that level. And that is the winner's mindset. If the markets doesn't give us what we're looking for, we're not going to trade what is in our heads, but we're going to trade what we see. We trade what we are looking at and we'll trade what we're thinking about. So we really need to understand that when the markets get to around that level, we're only looking for the markets to give us possible rejections around that level for us to potentially take shorts down to these lower regions and levels that we've actually marked up over there. And that is what I have for you for today, guys. Be sure that you do like the video. Be sure that you do leave a comment down below. Be sure that you even do subscribe on the channel for you to get proper content that's coming up. I will be actually recording another psychology video and posting it on the, on the channel as well. I'm really trying so much to actually take out content that will be valuable to you guys, content that will teach you psychology of trading and also give you a little bit of technical understanding because the main aim behind the channel is to make sure that all our subscribers get to a point where they can actually view the market from the bird's eye that we actually looking at the markets from. So I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. Once again, this is Dr. Martin. Go follow me on Instagram. Go check me out there on Instagram to see my work and to see um, my lifestyle as well. Follow my life on Instagram as well and to even be inspired as well to say that it's really possible possible if I could actually trade anyone else can potentially trade this is the video that I come to you with today and I hope you guys have a beautiful beautiful trading week once again this is Dr. Martin Regenesis Wealth Club we are signing out enjoy guys